hi everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel i'm very happy to have you here guys so today i am back with another for her and for him video if you haven't seen my first video i will try to link it somewhere here in that video i reviewed two fragrances from la tafa from the fajar line fajar for women and fajar for men so yes if you're interested in those i will link them here and today guys we will be trying out new fragrances from Azda. so basically guys the idea behind these kinds of videos um the holiday season is approaching and I'm sure you want to make some gifts for people close to you or even for yourself. So I was thinking about reviewing fragrances from the same line, from the same brand, but one targeted towards women, one uh, targeted towards men. Today I will be trying out two new fragrances from Azdaf, guys. Uh, if you watch my videos, you already know I love and I rave about Marzal Sultan by Azdaf. That uh, up to this date is my all-time favorite fragrance from them. Azdaf is like a brand of Latafa, guys. And today I will be trying out Prince of Arabia and Princess of Arabia. Amir Al Arab and uh, Amirat Al Arab. Oh, by the way, guys, don't forget to like my videos if you enjoy them because that would help me a lot with the algorithm. Also, if you want to follow me on Instagram, I will link it somewhere over here. I'm not very active there at the moment, but I will be more active there in the future. This I promise. I have two decans. Um, here I have Amir Al Arab. Here I have Amirat Al Arab. And uh, yes, guys, let's test them. Okay, so today I will actually start with the one for men. Yes, I have the dry down of the fragrance here. Yeah, basically, guys, I will insert the bottle on the notes. And um, the bottle is very pretty. Right from the start, the bottle is very pretty. Yeah. Okay, so right from the start, this is a fresh fragrance, but without smelling like a shower gel. And I want to tell you that to me, from what I've tried so far, this is actually very unique. Yes, it's fresh, it's dense, it's aromatic. It has a slight minty touch. This one has the, the note of mint and I can actually smell it in the fragrance. And it also has uh, a slight um, aromatic bitter touch from the basil. This is one of the first fragrances where I can really smell the basil, but it's done in a very beautiful way. Okay, so guys, um, judging it by the notes, this is more of a summery fragrance for sure. But I have to tell you something. Uh, these past few weeks, I have been testing a lot of men's fragrances. And um, even though I'm not very familiar with men's uh, designer fragrances, I am familiar with, uh, or I am becoming more and more familiar with uh, minimalistan fragrances marketed towards men. And I have to say that out of everything that I have tried so far, this is the most unique one. This is fresh without smelling like a shower gel. You do not smell like you just got out of the shower. It doesn't have, it doesn't have that kind of vibe. Yeah, basically guys, this one is fresh, this one is aromatic, it's a bit woody, it's a bit green, it's a bit spicy. It's a bit green, but not bright green, like bright fresh green, more like dark green. And on me it has a slight incense smoky touch that makes it even more unique in my opinion. Guys, I really, really, really enjoy this fragrance. I can also smell the patchouli, guys, but the patchouli, guys, here, it's not your dark, wet soil like patchouli it's not the funky smelling patchouli to me guys to my nose the patchouli in this fragrance just gives the fragrance depth it makes it grounding it makes it a bit earthy but just like the slightest bit basically guys this is your fresh minty aromatic masculine fragrance with slight uh, woody smoky green touches but the smoke is very in the back it's very in the back oh my gosh what is wrong with my english the smoke here guys like or the smoky accord it's like just a hint just a touch there you know this smells very masculine it has depth to it it has personality to it guys this is not your typical designer dna this i can tell you for sure i personally don't know any fragrance that smells like this one if you do put it in the comment section but i don't know of any fragrance that smells like this one and even though the notes might suggest um more i don't know casual fresh typical masculine fragrance to me this is actually kind of elegant so this is not a very casual scent of course this is just how i see it but you do you always okay i would see this fragrance on a very well-dressed man on a very elegant man on a very manly man um this fragrance to me smells very masculine personally i wouldn't wear this fragrance but i would love to smell it on a man but if you're a woman who enjoys these kinds of fragrances that have that very typical masculine DNA, 
I guess you could enjoy it as well, but I don't know. Just from how it smells, guys, I would see this one much more on a man than on a woman. Okay, so about the performance, guys. Again, it's very hard to test the performance of a fragrance. I mean, like the real performance of a fragrance only from a small decant of it because mm, I've only been testing it on my skin, you know? But from the smell it has, guys, and from how it lasts on my skin, I would say that this one is average or maybe slightly a bit above average, but it's nothing mind-blowing. I don't think this is a beast mode fragrance. But keep in mind, this is on my skin and uh, without being oversprayed. Now, this one on a man's skin, I feel like it would have the same DNA, but just like richer and denser. Hope that makes sense. This doesn't have a Middle Eastern vibe at all to it, guys. So it's very safe to blind by. This has your typical French style of perfumery vibe to it. Um, but it's not basic. To me, this is not a basic fragrance. To me, this is actually kind of unique. So yes, guys, this is everything I wanted to tell you about Amila Larab. Let's move on to the one for women. Okay, so the one for women, guys, what I actually uh, very requested to review. Okay, so how I would describe this one, guys? Imagine a touch of crisp uh, green apple mixed with sweet ripe or ripe overripe ripe, yes, ripe grapes, and then you have some slight floral masky nuances that just bring up the fragrance meaning i mean not bring up but like give a bit of brightness and airiness to the fragrance so yes this is sweet this is dense it's soft but it's not clean you know how some musky fragrances have that clean dna all throughout yes it's fruity but it's a crisp fruit yes it's floral but it's a clean crisp floral it's musky but it's a clean kind of musk now this is not that kind of vibe which i actually enjoy now guys when i first tried this fragrance it reminded me but just a tiny bit of italiano donna by arma but uh, just a hint. So if you have Italian Donna, I do not think it's redundant to get this one as well. They are different enough to have both of them. Yes, guys, very beautiful, girly, playful, feminine fragrance. Um, more for daytime than for nighttime and more for warmer months than for colder months, guys. Because I don't know if this one can face the cold temperatures of winter. This is more of a soft fragrance, guys, at least compared to what I usually rich for and what i usually like you know this is definitely on the softer side now to me this is a very safe uh, blind buy i don't think you can go wrong with this one um as long as you have realistic expectations guys this is not a beast mode okay if you overspray it uh, and if you reapply it you will have a sand bubble around you but don't think this is the kind of fragrance that feels wrong because to me it's not because of the notes it's not you know guys just by looking at the notes this is more of a softer feminine fragrance you know this is like 100% French style perfumery. It doesn't have a Middle Eastern vibe at all. I would say that if you want an easy rich fragrance uh, that's safe for office, safe for day date nights, safe for going out with your friends, basically guys, safe for everything, then you would enjoy this one. I don't think it's a beast mode. Of course, you could always overspray it and reapply it. I mean, I would. Like, if I were to wear this one, I would overspray it first of all, and I would reapply it. And I think I would treat this one more like a body spray. Just like I do with my Italian Donna, I treat it more like a body spray, meaning that I like spray like 20 sprays even more sometimes. I feel like um, younger girls, younger women can enjoy this one, just like more mature women can enjoy this one as well. I don't think it's too mature and I don't think it's too young. To me, it's somewhere in the middle. To me, this is ageless and timeless. It smells good now, it's, it will smell good in 10 years. Um, Pretty safe if you ask me, if you're looking for something out of this world, I don't think this one is. But if you're looking for a good, everyday, safe fragrance that's feminine, girly, playful, uh, a bit sweet, a bit floral, a bit fruity, then this is actually a really good one. Plus the bottle is beautiful, like, come on, like the bottle is beautiful. When it comes to the performance, guys, again, to me this is average or um, a bit below average. But again, it's very hard to properly test the performance of a fragrance from uh, a decant, you know, so... So yes, guys, those were my thoughts about these two fragrances. Um, now, my personal thoughts about these two, I actually really enjoy them. I think they are very well made. They don't smell synthetic at all. I think that uh, they would make perfect gifts for this upcoming holiday season or even gifts for people close to you, gifts for people who are dear to you or even gifts for yourself. Why not? I mean, I think they are some of the best offerings from Asdaf for sure. Um, if you're looking for feminine, this is a beautiful feminine fragrance, guys. You cannot go wrong with this one. Have realistic expectations and you cannot go wrong with this one. And this one, guys, this one to me, I feel like every man should have it in his collection, honestly. Because it's not your typical 
designer DNA that's a bit citrusy, a bit fresh, a bit aquatic, a bit this, a bit that. No, it's not that at all. It's very aromatic. It's full of flavor. It's full of, I don't know. This fragrance, I really, really enjoy it. Um, this one I enjoy it as well. It's not my kind of fragrance, but when I want to, uh, if I would be uh, looking for a fragrance that smells feminine, playful and girly, I would see no problem in choosing this one, you know? So, guys, if you have tried any of these two, please share your experience with the fragrances down below. I'm sure that it will help a lot other people who are also interested in trying these two fragrances. But yes, guys, and this is everything I wanted to tell you. You can follow me on Instagram here. Don't forget to like the video. It would help me a lot with the algorithm. Uh, if you want to tell me anything, please put it in the comment section and I promise that I will get back to you. But yes, guys, thank you so, so, so much for watching and I want to wish you an amazing day wherever you are. Bye. Mm-hmm.